Hi everybody, I'm Noah. I was the group leader for the experiment today, the ranking cycle. Um, the group reporter was Andreas and the other two members were Dennis and Chandler. Um, just a quick intro to the Rankin cycle. Uh, it was developed by William Rankin, a Scottish civil engineer in the 1800s. Um, the cycle involves the conversion of water into steam to turn a turbine and produce work. The process is used in most types of power plants, including coal and nuclear power plants. And it can be used to convert heat into mechanical energy or electrical. Um, this is just a short little diagram to show you all how this works. Usually a Rankine cycle is done in a closed system. Um, so water goes in here with the pump, gets pumped to the steam generator, the steam turns the turbine, and then goes back to the condenser to turn back into water and then continue the cycle again. Um, and so basically in our process we use the boiler to make the steam and the steam is used to turn the turbine and then ours was open so there was no pump so there wasn't really a condenser for the water to go back to. Um, this is what we actually used today. Um, in the experiment I thought it was a closed system so I thought we were having to find the work done by the pump. Um, we find the work output done by the turbine and the heat added to the boiler and the heat lost by the condenser. Um, so you can see here, this is the boiler. The turbine is very small down there. It's connected to a generator, and that's the condenser. Um, but the system's open to the air, so there's no pump, and you have to add water to it as you want to use it. Um, I just wanted to quickly explain what, how the ideal cycle should look for the ranking cycle. Um, basically, from one to two on the PV diagram, really on both diagrams, but on the PV diagram, one to two is the work done by the pump to raise the pressure. Two to three is the boiler heating up the water into a vapor. Three to four is the turbine uh, with the work output. Um, and then four to one would be the condenser cooling the steam back into a liquid. Um, and then this is a picture basically comparing the real versus ideal cycles. The ideal cycle is the dashed line and the real cycle is the solid red line. Um, the ideal cycle differs from the real cycle because it doesn't account for friction or heat loss. Um, so in real life you have to have a higher pressure created by the pump and more heat transferred by the boiler to get the same work output by the turbine. Just a generalized experimental procedure. Um, we have to drain the system of water before we start so we know how much water is in it. We fill the boiler with 186 ounces of clean water. We connect the fuel source line to the fuel supply tank. We check for gas leaks to make sure we're not about to like blow up everybody. Um, and then we turn all systems to on and purge the fuel lines and allow the system to preheat for about 10 minutes to make steam and have good quality steam and at 110 psi of boiler pressure uh, we slowly open the steam admission valve to get the generator to about 10 volts and then we keep opening it to keep the generator at 10 volts because it starts like dropping voltage. Um, these are the sa sample calculations that we had to do. Um, all of these rely on enthalpy um, and I kind of wrongly calculated the enthalpies because I thought it was a closed system. I didn't realize that part of it was open to the air, so I would have just used like standard air pressure and like room temperature. Um, but so in order to find the work done by the pump, you compare the enthalpy values at the inlet and outlet really for all of these. Um, so for work by the pump, it's H2 minus H1. Heat in the boiler is H3 minus H2. The workout is H3 minus H4 from the turbine, and the heat out of the condenser is H4 minus H1. To find the thermal efficiency is that long equation there. Um, you can see my enthalpy values there. Um, I clearly did something a little bit wrong because the thermal efficiency for most turbines is around like 80%, and that is 16. Um, but
but it's just a general example of how to find the different facets of the column. And those are my references.